Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is a detailed guide video for the newest class in Dragon Raja, the 13th class, Shadow Fencer. Now, there's going to be a lot to talk about in this video, so I will drop down in the comment section and description of this video various timestamps. So please go to either of those parts if you are just here for a certain thing. You can check them out and go to them. Or you can watch the entire video because I'll break this down and give some tips and some ideas in the video now without wasting too much time let's start with the beginning the intro what is this new class the shadow fencer so the shadow fencer is of first and foremost it is a wind element melee class by melee i mean close combat or short range attacker that's what it is it has one of the shortest ranges in the game if not the shortest range in the game the fighter is i think has a longer range so does the blade master uh, although they are using both swords, but the Blade Master does have a lot of chasing skill. Meanwhile, this one only has two chasing skill. That's one and this one. Yeah, it doesn't work unless there's a target. <laughs> that being said, it has a lot of high damage, high stuns, but very low chasing skills and skill range and low survival abilities. And this means it is very weak to long range classes like the Illusionist, the Visioner, the assassin and the reaper i was gonna say the gunslinger and stuff but you know the gunslinger damage has been nerfed to oblivion to the to the point that it's i don't know man the gunslinger probably can defeat it as well if you have a lot of cdr and use the invisibility strategy you know but that's a story for another video we're not going to get too in depth into that one right now <laughs> all right now we're going to talk about the skills of this class it has five skills there is no need to think about switching to other skill sets it's just these five ones here now it does have a lot of buffs and debuffs as well and we can't talk about the skill without mentioning this bar right up there that is the same bar the floramancer uh, the visioner the phantom sound the only difference is this one's normal attack has no effect on that bar at all it doesn't charge it at all as far as i'm aware what charges it are three skills. Your first skill right here gives it one charge. The second skill called Kiss of Gale or Kiss Gale actually charges it one to two times depending on your talent or deep talent. Mine charges it twice. And the final skill, which is this one, Elemental Will, the fifth skill, fully charges this skill. So there we go. Filled up. We'll, go, we'll get into this later. Those are the bobs you can receive. If you see, check down here. Those are all the bobs down here. Okay. Now, back to the first skill. Blade Wheel. Blade Wheel throws like a clone of itself. You can control where it goes. And it deals damage. And you can teleport towards it. But take note that this image right here still continues to deal damage for as long as it is on the screen no. so be careful to not run into it if you are an opponent and try to lure your opponent into it if you are using this class it is quite helpful then the second skill which is kiss of gill is one of the best skill this class has because it is the actual only stun skill i remember or i can think of that this class has and it is very good so you have it right here it teleports you to your opponent. This is kind of like the main chasing skill the class has. You see it right, this monster right here. If I use this right now, you see the X on it. It is actually silenced or stunned. Now, this leads to the third skill, which is Holy Glory right here. This one requires um, bars right here. It requires a charge from this your bar. And it is best to use it in tandem with your Kiss of Guild. What this does is it actually gives you um, speed boost, super armor and yeah basically it removes any stun you have on you at the moment of using it that includes the illusionist cage skill the visioner's dimension wall you can walk right through it with your immunity from that skill what the fuck? now that being said i think i should give a quick demonstration you can see right now i am actually walking quite slowly this is how you walk when you are when you are with this class when you are attacking it, it is quite ridiculous but thanks to holy glory let's use it right now you see the boost in speed you gain super armor your movement speed is way way more than it should be and you can almost stay in super armor almost almost stay in super armor always next we have thorn of rose this is your main damage skill right here and it deals damage depending on how much this bar is filled up so if it's one bar it deals like times one damage if it's filled up it deals times five damage just picture it like that it is insane now what it actually does is it releases clones let's get away from here three to four clones depending on your talent or deep talent and those clones also deal damage as well if you walk into them you receive damage from the clones and you can drag them back to you 
they deal damage as well when they come back to you which is insane now the final skill is elemental will this is it right here it gives you a full bar and it is insanely good it also gives you four balls which appear on your um default attack screen right here so be careful where you tap because it's yeah <laughs> so that's why this is the first class i'll actually suggest you use auto on i'll get to that in a minute so when you tap elemental wheel you get your wind attack on this section you have your fire attack right here you have your water attack somewhere down here i think the lower right and you have your earth attack at the lower right left so if you tap any of this section it goes both it will choose which makes this class a little more difficult to use out of these four buffs the wind gives you movement speed the fire gives you a lot more damage the earth gives you shield that can also deal damage when it is broken uh, or can heal you if it isn't broken by the time it expires the so water puts debuffs on the opponent it's not that great in my opinion but i think the best buffs are uh the fire buff and the earth buff those two buffs are insanely helpful the fire i think you should start with the fire buff to deal more damage and then you can switch to the earth buff when your health is very low and this can help you or can actually decide who wins the fight so those are the two buffs i suggest and that is it for the skill of this class now we can't talk about the skill without the combat setting because i have actually suggested you use auto now this is the default combat setting the game gives to you and i don't think it is actually helpful i don't think it is the best combat setting you should use so i'm going to change this real quick now this is the combat setting i think is helpful for this class so let me explain exactly what it does when combat starts you will want to have super armor on you so you definitely want to use this by yourself you want to use that skill to keep super armor on you by yourself and then after that you want to use elemental wheel and then teleport to your opponent while you select fire and then use this use this use this and this if they are still close to you you can use that if not you will want to use your chasing skill again and then keep your super armor on you while you just keep doing the crazy damage that you can that's basically it you just gotta keep doing like that so in summary you will barely be using your auto or default attack with this class from what i've experimented and seen you will barely be using your default attack mainly because the damage skills just have quite low cooldown like this is your biggest damage and it is just a five seconds or six seconds cooldown and that being said your cdr or cooldown reduction rate does not actually affect the timer that's this cooldown on this class it does other things but doesn't affect this exact cooldown of the class but i'll explain what it does in a minute because right now we're going to talk about stats now we're in the stats section of this class so first you want to increase your attacks which are your physical attack and your elemental attack you want to have those up and average your defenses i have explained what this means in another video i will leave a link down there in the comment section and in the description of this video to that so if you don't know what stats to increase for each class and what stats do that will help you understand it next you want to increase your critical level this is great but don't go too crazy increasing your critical level because this class has quite a lot of ways to ensure it actually criticals but still increase this if you can next important start is your armor penetration level you want to increase this as much as you can this class depends on damage and it is very needed for this class what cdr actually does for this class is it converts all your cooldown stats when you use this fifth skill elemental wheel it converts it into bonuses for you it can convert it into ammo penetration rates critical rates to your dodge and hit rate for example let me use it real quick and right now you see my hit level and dodge level has increased by 86 so yeah it actually gives you that let's wait for it to wear off and it has worn off that is exactly what it does it converts it to stats for you so cdr isn't useless but it isn't crazy useful it is still useful for this class just not in the way with other classes now in quick summary attack elemental attack average your defenses increase your critical level but don't go too crazy in it what you truly need for this class is your ammo penetration level so you can deal as much damage as possible oh yeah it's all coming together I've also explained cause when I talked about the basics to winning in Dragon Rajas. That is another video. I'll leave a link as well in the description and comment section. Now, the core I will suggest for this class is quite simple. You need your 9 fire, 5 water, and 2 wind. Now, I know you're already wondering why and why do I keep using this particular core? Because this is, in my opinion, the balanced core build. And I also believe that you don't need to stress too much with the dexterity with this class. Again, it has a lot of things to ensure it actually criticals. 
and if you check the deep talents you will definitely see them there there's quite a lot of them so you don't necessarily need to spend too much on your wind gem now you also be wondering why did i say you should go for five water and not something like earth this is because the water gem doesn't just increase your cooldown reduction rate it also increases your ammo penetration level you see insight right there if you go to here insight actually increases your ammo penetration not just cdr but your ammo penetration as well and that is very useful for this class the more ammo penetration you have the more damage you can deal to your opponent so that is the build i would suggest for you if you want to you can always switch them around and experiment but that's just in my opinion what i think is best i think this is what a lot of people have been waiting for <laughs> now the talent of this class i have separated them into three we have your 1v1s you have your group battles and you have your pve i want to explain something quite well this 1v1 build is the hybrid build for this class what i mean when i say hybrid is that this works for both 1v1s and it can also work for battlegrounds or group events this can work in both places all right now it can also work in pve yes it can also work in pve but it might not be the best in pve so at your s level talent you want to go for holy glory b a level talent kiss of gill b level talent star now i'm going to explain this real quick why they tie together the second skill right here is kiss of gill the third skill is holy glory now kiss of gill thanks to that talent is going to actually increase the damage you deal by 30 percent and holy glory thanks to that talent is going to give you super armor and also tie back to kiss of gill which increases your damage again this is quite helpful for you in stunning your opponent this is perfect for a stun dps which is needed for this class as remember it is quite susceptible to stun so if you are the one dealing the stuns you won't get stunned in a way so you do have more chances of winning with this especially since this class is a boss damage dealing class now the builder talent increases the damage of your first skill by 50 percent and finally the sea level talent waking this is dependent on the amount of energy you have right now you see i have zero energy it will increase my physical attack depending on how much energy i have let's try this right now give myself one energy let's check it again i have 627,000 attack 650,000 attack that's just from me using this one skill and it's coming back to me this is the second skill right now 650,000, 673,000. Why is it increasing? It's because the shadow I'm releasing is coming back to me. I use it again 673,000, 690,000. And let's just go all out 719,000 attack. That's almost a hundred thousand extra. 900,000. Did you see that? That was 900,000 attack. Let's keep going. From this, you can actually go as high as. 300,000 more attack to yourself just with that talent there so you can deal quite a lot of damage if you use your combos right and you just tie all this together that is why i call this a boss dps build and now let's move on to the deep talent for this build the talent for this build is mainly focused on the middle here and the left here the left increases the skill damage All this to unlock this one and focus on your critical damage so you can deal a lot. Remember, this is damage build. And finally, Wailing Wall just to reduce the damage received. I'm not saying these other ones are not useful. They are useful, especially this one, right, yeah, this one down here that increases your critical rate by a lot. But in order to unlock this, we had to give up some of this. What? Now, the Battleground build. The battleground build uses the same a b and c level talent but just changes the s level talent to thousand shadows this is helpful for you to try survive a lot longer but like i said i don't think it is that great for battleground you're still gonna die even if you use this unless you are like a super will yeah you probably might survive the deep talent is the same with this first one and finally the pve build you just change the s level talent from this shadow blade double shadows that actually increases the damage of your fourth skill thorn rose this will help you a lot in killing bosses and stuff quickly so this is for pve and i think this is quite okay for pve as well so remember this is the hybrid build that is great for 1v1 and group events and also useful in pve 
this is for biograms but i don't think you should use this for biogram in my opinion i think this is better for biogram as well after all the testings i've gone through and for pve this is best for pve but i'm gonna say this one more time you can still use this for pve but i think this is best for pve now we're gonna go to the ex and the ex i think that is great for this glass is sword realm this is insanely helpful for pvp this is the stone ex that you need it is insane you see it explosion buff debuff it is exactly what it says it does it is for crazy boss dps with this you can keep your opponent stone for the entire duration of about eight seconds or so if you time it right remember you gotta time the skills of this class properly or you're gonna waste them all and your opponent can run away from this if you do not time it right this leads to our actual other ex what you gotta choose amongst these other ones right here so use sword realm for this one now which one goes with it this depends on you how you want to play are you afraid of getting stunned a lot then you need royal fire royal fire will help you max level royal fire will keep you immune to stuns for as long as it is on you now if you're not worried about stuns you want to do the stunning then i would suggest you use things like minefield but i don't think minefield is that great for this class i'm gonna say it again i don't think minefield is that great for this class. it is good but i don't think it's that great for this class especially because the animation of minefield can actually take a while and this class can cancel the animation of minefield if you are not careful now the other exes i think are okay for this class will be judgment this is one of the best ex i can suggest for this class it is truly a boss damage ex and like it says explosion control explosion they go well together trust me i have tested this out other exes that you can use with this class um we have dust buster if you want to be a little more tanky you can use dust buster it can help you survive and finally you can use either majesty or glacier i haven't tried glacier to be honest i just think the idea of glacier is kind of cool with this class and that ex it might be awesome i don't know i might try it so i, I glacier is on speculation but these other ones are very awesome royal fire great dust buster awesome um judgment amazing yeah so yeah those are what i suggest for this class the allies for this class you will want to use there are two allies i suggest for this class the first are allies that increases your damage like um airy any ally that has the passive that increases your critical damage take note of that that is the ally you want any ally that increases your damage as well is acceptable and finally any ally that can stun your opponent like um this particular luminous captain luminous with the vortex that drugs or drags your opponent into the center very helpful those are the three allies control allies critical damage increasing allies and damage increasing allies there are a lot of allies so i can't mention all of them but i hope this actually helps you guys understand what i mean i'll start with the five star dragons there are actually three dragons i'll suggest for this class and the first one i'll suggest is wingless owl it actually increases your critical rate and critical damage perfectly made for this class the second dragon i would suggest will be serpent tail it reduces your opponent's defense this is a great debuffer dragon and it works for all classes so you can go wrong increasing this one as well and finally you will want dragon ghost it has the ability to silence your opponent now if you haven't taken note this is kind of exactly like allies Dragon Ghost is your control, Wingless Owl is your critical damage increaser, and finally, we have Separate Steel that is just your damage buffer. Now for the 6 stars, there is one particular 6 star dragon that I think fits this class and solves most of the issue, and that is the Lord of the Sky, and this isn't just because I like this dragon, but it is because it actually gives you super ammo and increases your movement speed, which can help you catch up to runners and also keep you from being stunned. Trust me, if you do not like chasing opponents, or if you are one of those players that pretty much stop running in chat, why are you running? Do not use this class. I'm begging you, please do not use this class. <laughs> now for the set, I'll suggest you go with your six yellow and four red. Six yellow actually increases your physical attack by 24%, and you also get your damage increase as your critical rate by 15%. That is a lot of critical rate there. So it's gonna compensate for you not using the wind gem again. And also you have freezing effect that can actually trigger and help you stun your opponent. 
Combine this freezing effect and DPS with the stuns of Sword Realm and also your EX at Judgment and whatever other EX you have and you can deal crazy amount of damage with this class. So that's what I'm going to suggest. Next, the Fall Red, that's this set right here, helps with your shield. In case you almost die, this procs and gives you invulnerability for 6 seconds while increasing your elemental damage by 48% for the level I'm at right now. That's not all. Remember the elemental wheel of this class that can actually give you buffs. If you if you see your shield proc and you just use the elemental wheel, use the earth and you gain shield. Check it right here. Blessing of earth, obtain a shield, 10% of max AP. Again, crazy combinations. In the seven things, I think there are actually four seven things that are extremely helpful for this class. The first, of course, is filth because a lot of people are going to be running away from you. Next will be wrath again for a lot of damage after that we have tried to remove the super ammo and reduce the defenses of your opponent to help you deal more damage and finally i would only suggest this for free to play players that are very very strategic envy envy can help you a lot with this class especially if you're facing another person that's using this same class and is way stronger than you envy can save you there but I won't suggest this for whales. Finally, we have cocoons. I haven't experimented a lot with this, so please do not take my word for this right now till I have experimented with other types of cocoons. What I think is helpful for this, this class will be this six yellow that actually increases your critical rate by 10% again while reducing your opponent's critical resist. It also slows your target. It's quite helpful for you. And I think four red is helpful. That's the one that freezes. The one that binds is also helpful to stop your opponent from running and the one that silences is kind of okay but i don't really think it's as great as these other ones yeah finally the petrification one i don't remember what color that one is but i know there's one of them that petrify. i think it might be the white also first piece of that is very helpful as well i think that's everything i can talk about in this video or in this short span i don't want to make the video too long very great class very helpful in battlegrounds and pvp events cool in pv events and destroying your monsters doesn't really have much survivability so please be careful with that remember to win with this class you do not spam your skills do not spam your skills guys spamming your skills will only result in you losing except you are very very strong you have to time it properly the way to win with this class is to actually time your skills just right and go with a quick short burst of damage and i think that is it that is all i can explain if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content it really helps me out if you have any questions comments suggestions or requests please drop them down there in the comment section i read all of them i'll respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary again thank you so much for watching Take it easy guys.